Hello, and welcome to number three of the Weekly Blitz. Now, I'm going to start out on something that kind of really, really, really pissed me off. And I'm also going to shut this window, just in case. So, I'm what you uh, might call a night owl. You know what I'm saying? I like to stay up late. I like to burn the candle at both ends, so to say. You know what I mean? So, uh, I was, you know, I was sleeping. It was about, it's almost 9 o'clock, like maybe 5 till or whatever. I get a call on my cell phone, and it's my mom wanting to talk about absolutely nothing at all that needed to be talked about at 8.53 in the gosh darn morning. It's like... I love my parents to death, like, so much. More than most things in the world. But I tell you what, do not call me before 11 a.m. in the morning. There's no reason to. Matter of fact, you probably don't need to call me at all, to be just completely honest. Unless, like, it's something really important. Or you, like, need to talk to me to confirm that I'm not dead or something. Just, just text me. You know what I'm saying? And it wouldn't have been so bad waking up early and whatnot, but it's 3,074 fucking degrees outside for no fucking reason. And uh, I have a lot of friends still in the Marine Corps. One of them's in 29 Palms. It's 111 degrees Fahrenheit there. 100, one, 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 uh, degree thing there. That's so, how did people, before, like, air conditioning and all the other shit that makes it possible to live in the desert, how did people do that? And this is me, a young, black, savage, who heat doesn't really, heat doesn't affect me, but for, like, everybody else, like, how did they live through such crazy heat in the desert. Why are we even in the desert, actually? That pisses me off. I know it shouldn't, but no city should be in the desert. You have to work so hard to get water into the desert and this and that. Isn't like Las Vegas and most of California in a desert? We should sell California to Mexico. Fuck California. Every, well, that's not true. Most of the like top tier douchebags that I meet either are from California or should be in California. You know what I mean? You might, that makes sense? Like, you ever meet someone from California and like, oh, you're from California. You know what I'm saying? But it, it, it is what it is. I've been doing the old, uh, the old job search lately, which... I guess probably a lot of people are, which it's not really like difficult. Like they're every single place everywhere is hiring, which is like good, but like a lot of it's in retail and nobody wants to work retail. People ask why it's like, for me, it's whatever I'll do. You know, I got bills to pay. I got two dogs to feed. I got a wife about to buy a house, you know, all the. If I got to make some money, I'm going to do what I got to do to make some money. But not everybody is like that. That's just a little tangent. But like, why retail? Why are people such fucking assholes to retail workers? And I'm not one of those, we should pay retail workers like $25 an hour. I think uh, you should probably get paid your skill set. But like, these, it's usually older Caucasian people from my experience, they're just, like, really cunty to retail work. It's like, first off, you're not spending enough money to give me this type of attitude. You know what I mean? It's like, you're going to spend $100 at max here, and you're going to talk to me like it's 1837 Like, bitch, no, motherfucker. You don't know. That's not how things work. And it's like, these people are trying to help you and you're getting mad because you're stupid, I feel like every retail worker should be able 
if a customer is just really being a great A cunt, you should be able to be like, hey, you, you're being a great A cunt. That's how I like to live my life. Like every time, um, you know, the old wife's being a, being a big old C, which is never because she's amazing. I just got to say, hey, calm down. You know what I mean? And then just pisses me off, though, for real. Like, there was this girl who, uh, she is well known to do meth and, uh, like, trick herself out to acquire meth. She came into my former place of employment. She didn't have her ID. And, like, we can't sell to you tobacco products. Unless you have an ID and you can verify your age. And this bitch tries to be like, well, I've been here before. It's like, I don't give a shit. I need to, the law says, the company says, I need to see your ID. And she's like, well, he's buying for me. And it's like some seven, a dude that's at least 25 years older than her. And not like, he's, you know. You can infer what type of dude this is. He's hanging out with a much younger girl who uh, tricks herself out from meth. So you can very much picture this type of guy. And he didn't say anything. The freaking, I don't know. It just, that guy, he pissed me off. He was so weak. And it's like, that's a, why, why are, why are dudes so bound to pussy? Like, oh, I get this younger girl and she has sex with me. Like, uh, there's nothing impressive to me about having sex with some fucking slut that has no self-esteem and is addicted to freaking methamphetamine. I don't care if you bang 20,000 females. That's not impressive. Like, it's... It's especially now in 2021, having sex with some low self-esteem whore is the easiest thing to do. I imagine, I don't know... I'm not out there banging whores anymore. I'm a happily married. I'm ne I'm I never did that. I have only had sex with one woman. And that's the woman that I'm married to right now. Amen. All right, but it's like for real. You have dudes. There was another one, and I don't. I didn't know this dude personally, but allegedly he had been involved with this girl. Had been raising her kid for years, only for her to cheat on him in his house. It's like, dog, the box cannot be that good. I'm sorry, no female, no interact, like no sexual intercourse is worth more than $275. And I, that, I don't mean that, like, I'm just saying, if the whole interaction to you, getting into a female's pants costs more than $275. It's not worth it. So in any circumstance that you're thinking about, man, I would fucking kill for this girl. Is taking a life worth more than $275? Check, absolutely. She's not worth it. Fine. That's the truth. And people, like, people, like, look at Mike Maljack, who was uh, formerly on the impulsive podcast and because he bangs Lana or because he banged Lana Rhodes act like he's a hero. It's like, dog, you had sex with a porn star. Hundreds of other people have had sex. with. It's not, there's nothing impressive about doing something that dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of people have done already. It was pretty cool. The first dude to climb Mount Everest, the 375th dude to climb Mount Everest. Do you know who that is? No. Neither do I. No one does. Do you even know who the first person, sweetheart, do you know who the first person who climbed Mount Everest was? No. Exactly. She said no, because no one does. Why would you want to climb Mount Everest in the first place? Why is that an accomplishment? White people are always doing the most extra shit of all time and passing it off like it's a fucking accomplishment. Like swimming the English Channel. That's not a fuck. We have boats. Or running a mile really fast. I have a car. Or lifting up heavy weights for no reason. 
There's forklifts. I can't drive a forklift. If you can drive a forklift, I think that's more impressive than being able to swim the English Channel. Because you don't need to swim the English Channel. It's 2021. That shit makes me so angry. And one of my friends went skydiving. He's also uh, getting married. Shout out to him. Uh, shout out marriage, by the way. He's getting married, and he said he went skydiving. He's like, oh, you got to go sometime. No. No, I don't. That's Why would I jump out of a perfectly good functioning airplane? Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. It's just like people like, oh, I want to be an astronaut. Why would you want to be an astronaut? What are you going to do? You're going to go up into the International Space Station, maybe? Otherwise, you're going to be on a fuck computer doing math. Ooh, math, 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 math. You want to be a professional fucking nerd? No. It's so dumb. And I had to, so as I said, I'm looking for employment. And I had to take a math test today. Why did I have to take a math test? It's 2021. I have a calculator right here. I have the entire combined knowledge of humanity in my hand. I should never have to answer another goddamn math question ever again in my entire life. Computers exist. And it doesn't help that I'm like real, real bad at math. But I don't think that should matter. Why should I have to take a friggin'? I only missed one question, by the way. So don't go thinking I'm stupid. I'm dumb, but I'm not stupid. Math is... Who even came up with math? Anybody ever ask you that? Hmm? Does anybody know? Who invented numbers and letters and shit? Who, deci who decided that this meant that, you know? I didn't have a... Did you have a say in that? Did you have a say in that? Go fuck myself. That's just, you know... It just doesn't make sense. At all. Like, ah, I'm not gonna go there. It'd be a bad idea. Uh, shout out to my oldest nephew for not playing me in Total War. You're a coward. That's all I got for that one. He, like, I've been asking him. I bought him two different Total War games, I'm pretty sure. Back when uh, I was in the old MC and he was in Collage. Like, we play Total War sometimes. But now, now that, oh, I'm in the Navy. He's scared. He's scared to lose to his uncle in Total War, which is, I get it. Anybody who wants to play me in Total War, Rome 2, you'll get clapped. Fuck. Clapped. I seen the hearing over there. Uh, so I was on YouTube, as I do, and I guess the whole Ethan, Trisha, Paytas situation is heating up. You don't know Ethan, he's at fat Jew on H3H3 who says a lot of dumb shit and he just gets away with it and he has a really, really, really retarded audience that just believes everything he says. So they just like, oh, Ethan said this, this must be true. So you got like a generation of uh, weaponized autism behind him. And then you got Trisha Paytas, who's like this ugly, disgusting fucking monster who's also uh, what like in medical terms, you would call um, an actual retard. She's one of those two. So it's like these two did a podcast together for a while, and it was just a couple of dumb fucking idiots being dumb, fighting over stuff. And now uh, it finally, they realized like, hey, we're two dumb fucking idiots, and this isn't working out. So they canceled. And Ethan, being the stupid fucking asshole piece of shit that he is, like... So I guess Trisha Paytas was, uh, you know, she was, um, can I say that, do you think? She was forced into doing sexual actions that she did not want to do, right? So Ethan, on their little podcast, they had, he'd bring it up and bring it up and bring it up and bring it up, and it triggered her, which... You know, I understand. I was, you know, I was, I was lost as a kid, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, We'll just breeze past that. But, like, I get it, you know? You don't want to talk about that. You don't want that brought up. You don't want to be involved in, like, that traumatic memory. But Trisha's, like, she said that, pretty much that same thing. 
And I'm not defending Trisha, because I don't like that fucking monstrous bitch either. She's stupid. But she said that to Ethan. Ethan's like, oh, now you're saying that I sexually assaulted you? It's like, no. And Ethan's stupid, fucking dumb fans all just see what he says and believe it. It's like, have a little critical think. And I know his audience isn't made up of critical thinkers, as you've seen from the whole freaking, I can't even say the word, from the whole, uh, we'll say, mask debacle surrounding the thing. If you watch the H3 podcast, you know about that. If you watch Red Bar, which you should, you know about that way more. But it's just like, people, are, he is mad because people are not wanted to wear their masks. When you know who, these emails got leaked saying these masks do nothing, which I'm not going to comment on it, but you have to be smart enough to take that little bit of initiative to make your own choices. You know what I mean? But so many people, like, why, what is, what has he done intellectually, I guess, or whatever, that makes people think his politics, that's something I should follow. He made Vape Nation and a fucking a video of Post Malone, and that means he's intelligent? No. It means he used to be fucking funny. That doesn't take intelligence. Speaking of intelligence, you ever notice how the dumbest fucking commenters are, are like, well, like commenters kind of give us away, but like, the dumbest people are in social media comments. 100% of the time. Like, people get so angry, and they say the dumbest shit that makes no sense on specifically Facebook, because that's the one I'm on the most, but I've been dipping into Instagram a lot, and on, like, every female photo, there are at least three guys fucking simping over her with, like, stop. Stop it. No Instagram whore is that attractive. And if they are, Mathematically, you can't get mad at me for saying this because this is mathematically, if a girl's super, super attractive, attractive to the point where she has like thousands of followers on Instagram, she's probably a fucking idiot. Now I get a lot of niggas out there is like, I don't care if she's an idiot, she's an idiot, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. I'm just trying to get my dick wet. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to smash. And like... If that's what you are, if that's if you're that type of person, all right. But like for anyone shooting for a little bit more, there's got to be more than that box, that little slit, that little red Corvette. Because like as good as it is, it's not that fantastic. Or so I hear. I've only had sex with one person ever. But I don't know. It's like everyone's trying to feel so damn important. All the time. I do not think that I am important yet. One day I plan to do some pretty dope shit. If you know me, you know what that is. And you're like, oh yeah, this guy. This guy is going to be legendary. If you don't know me, I'm not going to do anything like crazy illegal. Holy shit. Every time a black guy says they're going to do something crazy, it's like, oh, call the police. No. I plan to make history. History. I don't plan on, you know, doing a, you know, I won't even say it, but that brings me to about the, uh, you know, we're getting to, this is just a little, little chill number three. I would actually had a pretty damn good week. We're looking for a house. We're about to buy a house soon. That's pretty fun. Uh, learn people can't fucking decorate their own houses. I don't know how some people are living in these houses. Also, I don't know how some people are getting the value of their house as if that's the actual value of their house. It's like, but so since I didn't have that much this week, I'll leave you all with a little, a little, a little throwback to old, old how, 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 how far I've come as young sneaky Maliki into this young Malik. And how far that you, no matter how you may be, can come. I've come from a skinny, ugly, awkward kid to a skinny, awkward, not-so-ugly kid to a not-so-skinny, 
suave, fantastic fucking beast to a goddamn United States Marine to a really, really, really fat sack of shit for like a small period of like a year and a half and to like to to the fucking Rico Suave fucking hey sweetheart how would you describe me to this fantastic as she said indescribable handsome dark skinned nigga in front of you you know what I'm saying I wasn't always this way matter of fact for the longest time for like Eight years, there was this girl who I was in, infatuated with, dude. I wanted to be with this girl more than I wanted any, just about anything. For, and for reasons that i come to find out, it turns out, honestly, realistically, I probably just wanted to fuck this girl. Now, I had... A perception of this female that probably wasn't the truth and I was willing to overlook a lot of things and let a lot of things slide and willing to be used in a lot of ways because I thought that would increase my chances of getting in this female's pants now it didn't for me being a nice like kind respectful friendly dude that didn't work however it didn't work for me. But it seems like for everyone else, it didn't matter. She just let you hit. So me even knowing this, I still wasted about four more years of my energy on this female. Don't be that fucking guy. Don't be Captain save -a She hooks up with your best friend. She's not the one for you, fam. It's not that deep. It's, if she, every time, her and her boyfriend don't work out, and she comes crawling back to you, she wants your attention, but she doesn't want you, it's not worth your time. Go beat off before you answer that text message. And it's fine. You'll realize sex is not that important. Like, getting girls or guys, whatever you're into, it's not that important. What is important is the shit I'm finna talk to you about on Friday. That's right. I'm dropping another one on Friday. And I tell you what, it's going to be a little spicy. I won't even lie. It's going to be a little controversial. going to be a little Tiananmen Square. A little Tokyo Drift. A little Soviet Revolution. A little Rape and Nan King. A little Holocaust. A little Holodomor. You know? We're going to get into all of it. Why? I can do whatever the fuck I want. You know what I'm saying? But that's all I got. It's been a good week. Hope you had a good one too. Stay motivated.